what's up guys it's afroflu and today we'll be exploring why you should switch to firefox now in case you didn't know firefox was actually released 16 years ago which makes it one of the oldest browsers today apart from opera which was released back in 1995. now back in the day firefox used to be known as a really slow browser one that used lots of memory and it really had a bad ui if you think about it but nowadays that's changed so much and this is especially due to the new quantum update now if you don't know what this is this actually is a new update that makes firefox two times faster it also uses 30 percent less memory than its competitor google chrome also the ui has changed so much and i actually love the ui now on top of that Mozilla also decided to add privacy and security features to Firefox. And one of those privacy and security features was actually enhanced tracking protection. Now, if you think about it, companies like Google could actually introduce this, but the thing is that Google depends on your data. It uses your data to serve you ads. Firefox, on the other hand, it doesn't really need your data because it's not serving you any ads. And actually, Mozilla, the company that created Firefox is actually non-profit, so it doesn't really need your data too. Now, if you don't know what the enhanced tracking protection does, there are actually a lot of advertising networks on the internet. And basically what they do is they can actually track your movement through the internet. Firefox actually blocks this with the enhanced tracking protection. Normally, this is only enabled uh, when you go to private browsing, but you can also change the settings to make it so that when you're browsing normally, you won't, uh, the advertisers won't be able to track you. Another feature Mozilla actually introduced to Firefox was actually a better password manager. Now, I like to use lots of devices, so I like to have my passwords accessible on all of them, and Firefox actually does a great job. So basically what you do, you create a main account, a pretty much a master account, and then when you sign into Firefox, you can sign in with that master account and basically you have access to all your passwords. So actually that was really useful to me. So I, when I went to my phone, I wouldn't have to, you know, worry about my forgetting my password because I could just log into Firefox and my password would be accessible through there. Aside from that though, Firefox actually became more customizable. I actually installed the matte black theme and I'm actually loving it as you guys can see right here. Now, another thing that did come is the UI. Now, here's a comparison. Look at the UI when you, in the older version and the UI in the newer version, and tell me which one you prefer. Yeah, by far, the newer version looks so much more better. I was actually surprised when I saw the new UI. In fact, when it comes to customization, you can actually change the look of your toolbar. As you guys can see right here, see you guys can drag you can drag things, really rearrange things. I don't think any browser actually has this type of customization, like uh, like Firefox. Change the density, add a menu bar, a bookmark toolbar, menu bar. Apart from that, you can't really talk about any browser without mentioning add-ons and plugins, right? Firefox actually has a whole variety of plugins. Not really as many as Google Chrome per se, but it still does have a large library. There's also some additional features that I wanted to let you guys know on. If you click uh, these three button, this three, three button icon right here, it actually opens up and you can actually drag where you wanna save to, not just the whole page. Up and you can actually take a screenshot of the website. Also, if you go to your more, if you click more, you can actually open up a task manager and you can see what's affecting your browser and what's, what has a low effect. You can see what has a low effect and you can see what has a high effect. Now, don't get me wrong. Firefox does have some downsides. I'm kind of making Firefox look like the perfect browser. But in reality, I don't really think there's going to be a perfect browser. I just think browsers are going to improve. For one, Firefox's developer mode is pretty bad. So like if you're a developer, you should probably stay away from Firefox. Probably go for something like Google Chrome because that's where most developers debug today. So probably you should go for Google Chrome. 
also downloads if you're downloading something and say your internet disconnects you cannot resume your download this was actually really frustrating to me because say i was downloading something and it was like 90 percent complete and all of a sudden my internet disconnected and all of a sudden i couldn't resume it something that i could do on google chrome another thing is the boot time if you try to boot firefox and you have like a lot of add-ons on it it really takes a lot of time sometimes longer than you'd expect and finally another downside to firefox is some websites just aren't capable a good example of this is like google earth if you take a look at google earth for example it, it it's not supported on firefox but i think that's just a google thing but aside from that there's some here and there there's some like broken parts of websites that i've been noticing here and there but overall it's you know it's a pretty decent browser and i actually appreciate the way mozaella has really advanced in this browser you know if you think about them in previous years it really couldn't you really couldn't compete with google chrome but today i really think it stands a good chance so anyway guys what do you guys think about firefox now are you guys going to make the switch or are you guys just going to stay in your browsers of your choice? Let me know in the comments below. Also, I started a Twitter account at twitter.com slash Afroflu. Go check that out. The link is going to be in the description. Anyway, guys, peace. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.